If you have a double tail betta or are interested in one, you should know what they're prone to. Double tails have two tail lobes and a wider dorsal fin. Two copies of the gene and you get the whole look. One copy and you may just get extended dorsals. Because of this, double tails will sometimes be bred into lines to make fins more impressive. But all that glitters isn't gold. The same genes that cause the double tail lobes can also shorten spines, and this is where the issues may start. As we know, fish have a swim bladder that runs along the spine, and, well, shortening the spine can cause issues to that swim bladder. This can cause the fish to have trouble maintaining proper buoyancy, like our former buddy Saffron. Betta fish are animals, so they also have internal organs that can be affected by the shortened spine, causing digestion and bloating issues, for example. So the two big things to look out for would be the swim bladder issues, like staying stuck at the top of the tank, and bloat. And what really sucks is that because it's genetic, there's the risk that the swim bladder issues may not even be fixable. So what can you do about it? We suggest adding a fasting day and feeding high quality food, keep the water parameters pristine, and love your little buddy. We're lucky that Crypt Keeper doesn't appear to have any of those issues, but not everybody's quite that lucky.